الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا يوازي نعمه ويكافئ مزيده يا ربنا لك الحمد والشكر كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك ولعظيم سلطانك سبحانك لا نحصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك فلك الحمد حتى ترضى ولك الحمد إذا رضيت ولك الحمد بعد الرضا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه ومن سار على هديه ونهجه إلى يوم الدين All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a messenger of Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Last reminder, we mentioned that Ramadan is a test in which we sacrifice our bodily needs and our desires for 30 consecutive days. And we explain how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose gratitude as a wisdom behind fasting the month of Ramadan to make our life easy as he declared when he talked about the month of Ramadan and he said يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَى وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَى the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends ease and he does not intend difficulty for us. And today inshallah ta'ala we're going to talk about another wisdom behind fasting the month of Ramadan which is building self-discipline. In fact, maintaining self-discipline is one of the main aims behind all the acts of worship in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is related to one of the three wisdoms behind maintaining taqwa as we mentioned last time, which is this time, لَعَلَّكُمْ تفلحون, To be successful. Social scientists say that there are a thousand doors for success in this life. There are a thousand doors to succeed in this life. And you cannot enter any of them except through the door of commitment. It doesn't matter if you are Jewish, Christian, Buddhist or a Muslim. If you have a high level of self-discipline, you're going to succeed in this life. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose these acts of worship for us to teach us self-discipline and commitment. In Salah, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose it for us, Kitaban Mawquta, certain times on a daily basis. When Fajr comes, I have to wake up to pray, no matter how warm the blanket is, no matter how cold it is, no matter how early it is, I have to wake up to pray Fajr. When Dhuhr comes, I have to leave my work. I have to leave my work and go to pray. When Asr, Maghrib, Isha come after having a long day and I'm very tired, I have to pray because I have to maintain a high level of self-discipline. I have to maintain a strong personal commitment all the time. In zakah, we pay zakah in certain times. It is very organized. When we reach a specific amount of money, then we can pay our zakah. The same idea in hajj. It takes a strong self-discipline to perform all the rituals of, of hajj. It, 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 it comes in certain time, in certain times, certain way, certain days. SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us discipline through these acts of worship. And in Ramadan, of course, Madrasa to Siyam, the school of fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he talked about the month of Ramadan, after mentioning that he intends ease and he does not intend difficulty for us, he started to mention some of the wisdoms behind fasting the month of Ramadan, and he started with, وَلِتُكْمِلُ الْعِدَّةِ In order to complete the count, which means in order to complete the training period, in order to complete the 30 days of the month of Ramadan, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us how to control our nafs, how to control ourselves, our behavior, our emotions, our actions, our sayings, our ears, our tongues, our eyes, even our hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this blessed month teaches us one of the most powerful weapons, one of the most powerful tools which is to be able to say no to your desires, which is to be able to say no to yourself when you desire something that may not benefit you. 
And my dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us how to restrain ourselves. Not just in terms of physical desires like eating and drinking, but also in regards to, in regards to, in regards to our manners. Even our halal relationships, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stops us from having these relationships during the, during the, during fasting, during the month of Ramadan. And even the intuitions that come to our hearts, the ideas and the thoughts that come to our minds, all the time we have to control ourselves. And subhanAllah, the lesson is, if we are able to stop our nafs, if we are able to restrain ourselves from many things, if we are able to sacrifice our bodily needs and desires, then we've proven to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to ourselves that we can hold back. We can obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala easily after the month of Ramadan. And we can definitely build a high level of self-discipline during the month of Ramadan. Why? Why, Ya Rabb? To be able to achieve our goals, to to be able to get things done after the month of Ramadan. Subhanallah, how many of us have decided to do many things and they stopped in the middle of the way or even right away after the start or even before the end, before they finish it? How many of us have decided to start a diet and they stopped? How many of us have decided to go to the gym and they stopped after going there once or twice? How many of us have decided to follow the path of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they stopped after a while? How many of us have decided to memorize the Quran, learning a new language? How many of us have decided to set up goals and dreams and they stopped trying to achieve them? How many of us have decided to do many things, many new things in this life and they stopped? And my brothers and sisters, we stop doing these things. We can't finish doing these, these things. We can't get things done because of the lack of self-discipline. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is putting us through this experience. Is putting us through this training period to teach us self-discipline. To practice self-discipline for 30 days. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he said, يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَى وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَى Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends ease and He does not intend difficulty for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us, make us among those who have a strong personal commitment. Those who have a very high level of, of self-discipline to be able to achieve their goals. To be able to get things done in this life and to be able to succeed in this life and in the hereafter. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma laka alhamdu wa shukru kama yambagi li jalali wajhika wa al-azim sultanik. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala sayyidina muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. اللهم ارزقنا توبة نصوحة طهرنا بها جسما وقلبا وعقلا وروحا اللهم آت نفوسنا تكواها زكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا إلا قضيتها ويسرتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم تقبل صيامنا وصلاتنا وقيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا واختم بالباقيات الصالحات أعمالنا اللهم اغفر لآبائنا وأمهاتنا كما ربونا صغارا اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك يا ربنا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وآخر دعوانا عن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته